Oh, ow, I'm getting hit from behind. Oh, they're coming down on me! <laughs> oh, no. Hello and welcome back to another Total Tank Simulator gameplay video. Now today we're going to be doing another custom sandbox scenario gameplay where we're going to be diving back into history and recreating the second battle of El Alamein um, and we're going to be trying to recreate that in Total Tank Simulator. Okay, so how I'm going to do this is I'm going to do unlimited time, unlimited money and a standard desert map, right? I'm going to go two Germanys against the UK and the USA. Now I know that the US wasn't actually there. It was mainly Australians, uh, British and New Zealand, but they did have a lot of American vehicles, which is why we're going to pick USA, just so that we can use some of those American vehicles in here to try and make it more realistic. Okay, so this is the map we're going to be playing on, standard generic map, okay? Now you see the, the Germans are going to be over on this left-hand side here, and we're going to put them into dug-in defensible positions, because effectively what happened in this battle was that the Germans were running low on supplies, uh, they were led by Field Marshal Erwin Rommel, and they decided to dig in, and this was the British that advanced. They cleared out the minefields, they advanced up two columns, and um, so we're going to make the British attack a fortified uh, German position. Now, the F British were led by Lieutenant General Bernard Montgomery, but whilst it was British forces, they were using a lot of American vehicles, which is why you'll see here I've chosen the Americans as well, so that we can put the M3 Lee. Actually, this game might not even have the M3 Lee or M3 Grant. Let's actually quickly look. No, okay, it's not going to even have the... But it'll have the Shermans, so we can put in the Sturts. We can put in the Sturts and the Shermans, okay? Okay, so the German tanks during uh, during this engagement would have been predominantly Panzer 3s and Panzer 4s, as it was 1942. This is quite early in the war. However, you can't actually get on Sandbox the Panzer 4. So what I have done instead is I have chucked in a couple of Tigers, just two Tigers on this side and another two Tigers on this side. Um, four bunkers and then a bunch of Panzer 3s. That's the German roster right there. Um, and then we got a bunch of little Sturts. I think M3 Sturts and then a bunch of M4 Shermans for the Americans. And then over here, a ton of Crusaders supported by a couple of Churchills and then quite a few Matildas. So this is what we're going to see. The Americans are going to advance into this German section and then the, the British are going to advance into this German section and we're going to see who wins. Place your bets in the comments section now, and if you want to go see, if you want to see more of these Total Tank Simulator sandbox historical engagements, or there's specifically one you want to see, comment down below and subscribe for more, because I'm actually really enjoying this. Okay, away we go, away we go, okay, the Americans are pouring over onto the British, are they going to concentrate fire? Look at this, look at this stream of Shermans and Crusaders coming over the hill. Oh, the Crusaders aren't going to be doing much, <laughs> they really aren't going to be doing too much. Although the Matildas were pretty robust, and we got a couple of Churchills here as well. Okay, let's see. Who's dying? Okay, it looks like already the Germans are picking off a bunch of the Americans. Although, these it's just the Sturts. The Shermans haven't really made it into the engagement yet. The Shermans are actually probably a good match for the Panzer Threes, particularly the Panzer Threes. But I guess we'll see. Oh, actually, I'll tell you what. There's a lot, a lot of dead ones right there. The points we're actually even here the point so I might have to take away I might have to just take away those Tigers entirely because look the Tigers are just doing the business look at this guy here just literally just up in the front lines doesn't care taking all of the shots from God knows how many British tanks that is <laughs> there's not a care in the world that is absolutely absurd okay I might have to get rid of these Tigers because the British tanks are not doing anything to them and oh my goodness, it looks like we're on to the last few dribbles. We're about to watch this tiger hunt down one of the last, uh, one of the last American tanks. Oh no, here it comes. <laughs> Get ready. You're going down, mate. Oh, look at that. It was so easy. He's been absolutely dropped. Oh my god, look at this guy. He's an absolute monster. There's still a couple left. There's still a couple left. Who have we got? A couple of Matildas. Matildas are a fairly robust vehicle, actually. Like, they got a lot of armor, slow moving a lot of armor. I think they got a six pounder, the British six pounder, so not a very good gun, but um, survivable, very survivable. Okay, that didn't go quite how I expected it to. <laughs> Look at this. The Germans actually had, oh, they had ever so slightly more thing, more, uh, more points, but they had double, more than double the tanks there. Okay, I'm gonna have to take away those tigers. We're gonna have to remove the tigers and then see what happens. Okay, we are going once again. 
the Germans, this is the second battle of El Alamein, take two, the two bunkers have been removed and all of the Tiger tanks have been removed, it's just basically a couple of bunkers and Panzer threes now against the, the Sherman's Crusaders, Matildas, the Churchills the, and the um, Sturts. Let's see, let's see, and now the Allies have a significant point advantage here. Okay, let's see how it's looking on the other side. How are the, how are the British doing? Okay, we got a couple of Crusaders making their way over the hill trying to help out on this flank here. Okay, and a couple of the a couple of the Americans have somehow made it over in this direction as well. Oh, actually, you can kind of tell who's winning based on who's retreating. Okay, so the Americans have uh, it looks like the Americans have lost this side, but it looks like the British are winning this side. You see the Blues are retreating over here. Okay, that's a really easy indicator. You can see when they're kind of wiggling backwards, but they do still have these two bunkers. It's almost like a little bit of a choke point here. The the, the British and Americans. Well, what's left of the Americans? I think it's because the American tanks are so squishy, but these Churchills and the Matildas, right here, look at that, Churchill and the Matilda, actually fairly survivable vehicles. The Americans are out, all but out, in fact I don't think there's a single, oh there is a, there is a tank left, there is a, a little shirt chilling over here, what are they going for, oh the, the pillbox isn't down yet, wow it wasn't even down yet, oh look a single shirt has survived the battle, <laughs> who'd have thought? Oh, whoa! Oh, the anti-tank gun's still there! What's that, a Pack 40 That's a substantial anti-tank gun. I didn't even realize you could see them in there like that. Also, that seems like a very, very like survivable anti-tank gun for a Pack 40 with a couple of millimeters of steel, right? Oh my... Okay, they might be overpowered. But yes, okay, there you go, you can see UK won. So, what we're going to do now is we've got our result. And obviously, if you know anything about the Battle of El Alamein, um, actually, the British did get their first substantial win in World War II. Um, and it was called the Crumbling, I think Montgomery called it, where uh, they slowly whittled down. They were already low on resources. The Axis were low on resources, so they whittled them down. They kept pushing, um, and eventually they managed to encircle and entrap, I believe, a lot of the uh, infantry divisions, but the mo motorized divisions managed to actually escape, um, is what I believe. Now, fact check what I'm saying here, people. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go overkill, we're going to scale it up, and we're just going to make it look more cool, basically. Okay, so we are scaling things up, and we are doing the Battle of El Alamein in Total Tank Simulator if it was 1945, and everyone had heaps and heaps and heaps of resources and tanks. So you can see here we've got a bunch of German bunkers, an absolute squad of Panzer V Panthers, and of course, Leading the cha charge up here is the Maus. Now, if we head on over here onto the other side, we've got more of... This is more of like a, I don't know, an assault squad. These over here are the heavy hitters. We've got two Mauses, I guess, yeah, I guess Mauses. Four Ferdinands or Elephants. As somebody actually said in the comment section, that was depending on whether or not they had a gun that was after the Battle of Curse. Two King Tigers, Tiger Twos or Chronix Tigers. Uh, and a Lerva or a Low, whatever you want to call it on the inside. And then again, a bunch more Panthers right here. And what are they up against? They are up against a bunch of British Black Princes, basically heavily armoured Churchills. Um, a bunch of boat tanks. The TOG 2s, of course, we've got TOG 2s, in fact, they, that might even be a thumbnail right there. Somehow, these are classed as super heavy tanks and are apparently good in this game, which is interesting. And an absolute, I don't know, look at this, there's a little assault force of Cromwells. This is gonna be, that's going to be dangerous coming around the outside. And then on the other side, against the Maus leading the formation up there, we have the T-20, uh, sorry, T-95. Um, I believe was just a widened version of the T-28. Anyway, um, four Pattons, a row of Pershings, and then a pair of T-29 heavy tanks chilling right at the back. Now this is dangerous. I should say here that the uh, British and uh, the British and Americans have a massive point advantage here. So we're going to press play and we're going to see what happens. Okay, I've never seen a T-95 move that quickly in my life. The T-95 is just absolutely taken off. I don't believe it! Look at the pit, he's outpaced all the patterns. The super heavy tank destroyer has outpaced the medium tanks. Wow, okay, now let's see what happens here. Oh wow, he got a direct hit on the mouse right there. Okay, but he's about to take some serious punishment. And he has dropped. His direct hit on the mouse just wasn't enough. But well, here we go, we got the Persians. We got the Pershings versus the Panthers happening as we speak. Also, no, those are the patterns that are making their way up straight away. Is the, the mouse has dropped. Wow, they're getting encircled really, really, really badly. How are the heavy hitters doing? Oh, that mouse appears to be falling down the hill. King Tiger's dead. 
oh, the point advantage here to the British and Americans might just be too significant. Because, oh my goodness, they are walking away with it. They've absolutely marched away with the victory this time. That is incredible. We're going to have to balance out the points and then play that again. Although I will say we do have a couple more tanks. We're going to jump into this guy here. Okay, I think we might be the last vehicle left. We might be the last vehicle left right here. Oh, here we go. You ready? Oh, no. Let's hide behind the ditch. Let's hide. Okay, let's try and get him, funnel them around. Oh, lovely, lovely. Can we just camp? Can we just play a really, really, really nasty camping game? Oh, ow, I'm getting hit from behind. Oh, they're coming down on me! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> they just charged over the hill. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to even out the points and then play that one more time. Okay, the points have been evened up, and now we are gonna play in the mouths. What I wanna do is I just wanna follow this guy here and use him as a meat shield, so I'm just gonna get on the other, <laughs> get on the other side of him. All right, look at this absolute squad of some of the deadliest tanks from World War II. How did I get hit? What hit me? Oh, it's maybe because I rammed into my own guy. Okay, look at that, the Cromwells. Look at the Cromwells coming over the hill. Oh my god, oh, we destroyed, we destroyed one. It takes a while to load, but whatever you shoot basically just disappears. Okay, the Ferdinands are pushing up real hard. Okay, did we miss? We missed, damn, we missed. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, this looks... Okay, it looks like our, our team on the right. It looks like the yellows are absolutely dropping like flies. But we're doing okay. In fact, I want to reverse. I want to keep this tank alive as long as I can. Oh, wow. That didn't even die in one hit. What's our health like? Oh, we're actually about to die. Oh, wow. We're actually dead. Okay, there's quite a few blues. Okay, we'll jump into the other... We'll jump into... Uh, no, I want to jump into... Oh, my goodness. Oh, I didn't know you could zoom in like that. Look, we're learning. Oh, I didn't realize you could zoom in like that. That's really useful. Yeah, there's actually a fair bit of shell drop. That's interesting. I like that. I really like... I didn't even realize that was a mechanic. Also, is it just me or does this look like a World of Tanks uh, World of Tanks map? What's it called? Sand River? Has anyone played World of Tanks? This looks like Sand River on World of Tanks. Okay, we're chasing down this final remaining guy. Can okay, there we go. That is your answer to who would win El Halouf, except only the first two, really. The last two I just got carried away again with a sandbox scenario. I can't help myself when I'm doing a sandbox and total tank simulator. You just got to put as much as you possibly can in. Three houses and a T95 in 1942. Probably not really that realistic. But ladies and gentlemen, if you're enjoying these um, as much as I am, then do subscribe for more. And if you want to see specific battles from history or from movies or just anything that comes to mind, comment down below like the video um, and I will get around to doing them as quickly as I can because I am really enjoying this game and it seems to be doing really well actually it seems to be quite a popular game so thank you very much for joining me and I shall catch you again next time